Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato, and today we are going to be having another attempt at this quite fantastic, I don't know, space transportation game, sort of, missile simulator, awesome game. That's a terrible description, but yeah, we did fairly well as uh, as as the Kestrel, you know, the ship, the basic ship that you uh, that you get when you start out. We did fairly well actually, and I was very very happy with uh, with how well we did. Even though, even though at the end we did die through uh, through a very very horrible missile, I was very grumpy, very very grumpy. But that's okay. You know what? This time we are going to be trying with the Taurus, and I've I've decided that we're going to leave the name the Taurus because the Taurus is uh, is actually quite a darned cool name for a ship. So straight off the bat, what distinguishes this ship as uh, as a different ship in comparison to other ships? Well, for example, it's got this NG Med Bot dispersal, which is darned cool because it basically means that we get healing throughout the ship, irregardless of uh, if our dudes are in the med bay. It's not at the same speed that happens at a med bay, but it's good, you know, just a little bit of residual health is, uh, is quite nice to keep our uh, two low health NG crew members um, sort of topped up, so to speak. Also, we've got a human, so, you know, he skills up a little bit faster, which is kind of nice, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's not a, a major issue. Also, the fact that we've got, uh, we've got ion weapons. Ion weapons, uh, I would say they're, they're a specialty with this ship. Uh, in combination with drones, you know, they can uh, theoretically deal a fair amount of damage. Obviously, ion blasts, not known for being the, uh, the most effective weapons at destroying ships, but they certainly do disable systems at a fair rate. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next, but get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, I am A-OK -okay with that. So, what is the plan for uh, for this, this whole playthrough? Well, I, I must confess, I don't really know. We'll have to... Uh, oh, crap. Can't remember. I need to remember not to activate my drone parts. I waste my drone parts on activating drones uh, unnecessarily. Anyway, I think we're going to go for you know a fairly simple route down this way, up there, down there, across here. Yeah. So basically, just down this way and around, and I'm sure it'll go fine. It's only the first sector. It's not that difficult. You come out of the jump to see laser blasts coming from the other side of the beacon. Let's aid the ship. Why the hell not? Why the hell not? No. What do we want to do? I don't I don't really know in fairness. I mean obviously we want to be ion blasting. We obviously want to be activating the combat drone because we don't have anything else. Turn off our med bay, stick our extra point in our extra power point into engine so we get slightly higher evasion. Marginally higher that is. Holy shit, this is going to be tough. Let's, uh... I suppose it doesn't really matter where we Ion Blast, does it? Come on, dude, you need to be hidden. I'll turn you on auto-fire. Need to be on auto-fire, dude. Because Ion Blasts charge up pretty quickly. But they're pretty fucking useless, let's be fair. There we go. It's pretty much GG already, boys. It's pretty much GG already. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, yes. Yes, please. Yes, this is the exact weapon that we needed. Holy cow, do we have enough to upgrade the, the weapon by one and the power bar by one? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a start. What a start. A heavy laser as well. This is fantastic. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is exactly what we needed. Charge time nine. That's okay. Only one required power. Fire chance low, breach chance low, stun chance low. That's fine. That's that's absolutely fine. You know, it's just a little bit more firepower. 
that we can uh, that we can use to our advantage. And you know, it sort of it sort of forces us to go down the uh, the whole you know weapon route, which is maybe not something that we'd specifically want to do on uh, on this ship. But getting a fourth point in weapons by no means uh, by no means means yeah. Try and figure that out. By no means means that we are actually going to be a, a, a weapon orientated ship. Now we're in an asteroid field, and this worries me a little bit. And this worries me because our shields are fairly trashy. Thankfully, so are their shields. Heavy laser. Oxygen. Uh, no, you know what? I'll decline their uh, their offer. I sort of want a little bit more scrap, if that's all right. But wow, we fucking demolished them. And, and holy shit, where's the sound? Like, there's... I feel like there's no sound at all. Goodness sake, there we go, there we go, okay. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. In fairness, it would probably have been worth us uh, actually taking the surrender offer, but hindsight is twenty twenty, and I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. See, now sound is just a bit too loud. There we go. There we go, something like that. There we go, that's, that's fine. Uh, I really do hope that we're not going to take any damage while we're waiting to jump out of here. Fingers crossed, anyway. You reckon we can go up here? You know what? I reckon we can go up here. We're going to get ballsy. We're going to get very, very ballsy indeed. Ooh, a missile shoots across your bow. When the jump completes, your scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. We weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. Well, I could profit, but not by very much. I'm going to be a hero. That's right. You heard me. I'm going to be a hero. Using another drone part to ensure that... Uh, that my enemy is useless. There we go. Smashing the shield as we uh, as we usually do with the ion blast to make sure that it stays down. And that looks like a like a bomb teleport thing to me. So let's try and get the heavy laser out. There we go. Do the damage to the weapons before it can actually do anything. Very very happy with this with this weapon that we picked up because as long as we can actually just damage the shields, then the combat drone will do the rest. You know. So. A-OK -okay with that. Wow, that's a really shitty amount of scrap, but... Uh, it's good that we got the, the scrap from, the, from the, the civilian ship, but it's still a pretty crappy turnout of scrap, if I'm truly honest, but... Whatever, that's fine. Captain of the ship claims you can provide services as long as you've got the scrap. I don't really have the scrap. You know what? I will fight the ship. I will fight the ship. Turn my combat... Uh, Turn my combat drone on, which I must say, I'm a fan of. Okay, shoot again, there we go, and then fire, and then, oh damn it, that's annoying. Heavy laser the shields, there we go, and now the combat drone is just going to go to town, absolutely go to town on everything that this mercenary ship holds dear. There we go. Fucking simple, wasn't it? Holy cow! Two missiles, one drone part, and 18 scraps. So, not a, not a very, very profitable situation, but not a badly, badly profitable situation. So we are going to be playing a little bit with fire here. We're gonna, we're gonna, you know, be a bit more risky, and especially well-armored pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members, and the rest of you can go free. Uh, no, like I don't know who would ever choose this option. Like. Wow, holy shit. Uh, we're in trouble. Yeah, no, but I don't. I really don't know who would ever choose the option of hand over one of your crew members. And that just seems like the... I don't want to say the most moronic thing in the world, but it seems so unbelievably moronic. Don't destroy my weapons. Please don't destroy my weapons, dude. There we go. There we go. Thank God. We've got him back. He didn't destroy any weapons. Ah... Goodness gracious me. We're safe. I thought for a minute there, things were going to be a little bit dodgy. But then I realized, you know, why would I be worried about that? I'm a, I'm a pro at this game. Like, okay, you got to have faith. You got to have faith in yourself sometimes, you know? You got to have faith. As George Michael said, who I think he uh, sung the song, didn't he? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so something that that has sort of highlighted to me is that it would be really, really great if we could get some cameras and if we could get some doors. You know, so just let's just do it. You know, let's just not talk about it anymore. Let's just do it. 
And, you know, you don't need power for subsystems anyway, so quite, quite happy to just comfortably take those upgrades and move along. Move along. Okay, it looks like this beacon is home to a Ripple checkpoint. They are stopping and searching for any ship that passes through. Civilians are being harassed and Federation members are detained. The Rebels haven't noticed for you yet. Uh, you know what? Fend for yourself, attack and escape. I'm going to bribe the Rebels to release the Federation ships. Like most rebels, these men are just trying to get by in a rough galaxy. They take your scrap and let everyone continue their journeys. Contact the civilian ships. Some of the civilians pull together their excess scrap to try and repay you for your help. Mm, well, that was like... That li that just lost me two scrap. I mean, that's, that's all that, that exchange did. You have jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens and you can still see the remains of dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Investigate the battlefield, ignore the wreckage. Uh, you know what? I'm going to use my improved sensors. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. I will take that. Holy cow, let me have a look at that piece of equipment right there. Healing burst. Self-teleporting healing unit that can instantly heal all friendly crew in the room. Can target your own ship. I mean, it's not hugely useful, I guess. I mean, 18 seconds is really, really bad. Oh, God, that's a really freaking bad weapon. I'm not going to lie, right? That's a really freaking atrocious weapon. I reckon we can go here, 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 and then here. Because I don't. I don't, I don't think we're, we're going to have the length of time to do that, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Not this thing. Not the Ion Pulse bollocks. Uh, a rebel captain appears on the screen. I thought we had been doomed to backwater assignments. This is my chance to get back in command's good graces. Charge the weapons. Deploy the combat drone. Get ready with the Ion Blast. He doesn't have much. He's just got a laser. Uh, what am I worried about most here? Maybe them escaping? Maybe we can minimize the fact that they've got, uh, you know... Dodge chance. We could go for the auction generator. We'll, we'll try and do it. Obviously, his weapons are going to be significantly more annoying as soon as uh, the ion shield or the ion field hits. The pulse nova shit happens, but whatever. The fight's over. Who, who even gives a damn? Three fuel, two missiles, and 25 scrap is something that I am fairly happy about. An ion pulse? What is the point, dude? What's the point in even doing this? Like, seriously. I, I think it is completely unnecessary. I'll be honest. Completely unnecessary. Goodness gracious me, why would we even do that? I also really do like the shape of this ship. An abandoned space station circles a lonely planet. A quick check yields schematics for a drone. You bring it aboard the ship. You know what? I think that's the exact same kind of drone that we have right now. So, you know what we could do? Let's stick a power bar in. Let's stick a drone in. And let's click accept. And suddenly, we've got the ability, should we want to, if we do want to, to uh, instantly power up two drones and do a shit ton of damage with them. And I think that that is very, very powerful indeed. Do we have enough power to do that, though? Uh, I don't think I actually think we have enough power. Let me buy one more power bar. There we go. That, that puts us in a good position. The next thing that we're going to be going for, in terms of ship improvements, is most definitely the shield, because the shield is... Not really up to scratch, I'm afraid. Not really up to scratch, I'm afraid. I guess we need to go to the exit because there's nowhere else to go. I mean, we've sort of, uh, we've sort of done it. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. So occasionally when you do the board station and look for survivors sort of thing, on one hand, you can pick up survivors, and picking up survivors is always great. New crew members for your ship is the most phenomenal thing in the world. Um, but at the same time, it can be bad and you can lose a crew member. We're going to fucking risk it. Nothing. Okay, you know what? Just some scrap. Some scrap is better than actually losing a person. You know, that's fine. I will, I will be okay with that in the future. Like, that's not a problem for me. And where are we going to go? We're going to go to either the Zoltan controlled sector or we're going to go to the Mantis controlled sector. Tell me, ladies and gentlemen, where do you think we should go? Because that is the end of this episode. I apologize for it uh, being a rather short one, 
but uh, as is often the case in FTL, an episode length is dictated by if we find a, uh, a mercenary to slow us down, and if I deem that mercenary valid or, or worth the scrap to slow down the enemy fleet, which inadvertently ends up, you know, extending the episode for like an extra 10 minutes or whatever. It's kind of cool when that happens, but you know, just a, a little FYI for you there. Anyway, ladies and gents, where do you want us to go? My name, of course, is Minobi Potato. Tune in tomorrow for some more FTL, and until then, bye.